How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to RoboCraft. That's right, we're back. We're doing more of it. You guys liked it. You hit the like button. You gave the views. And... We're playing more of it. What a great game. I'm having a lot of fun. I played a while. Oh, I should have... Let's, let's cancel that. Um, let's take a look at the... The... The X... XX... Here. Um, it's evolved quite a bit. We got the Tier 3 cannons on it. We got the... Tier 2 armored cubes all over it. Um, still level 1, Tier 1 wheels, I think. I think it's the next thing. That's going to put me into Tier 3 for sure. Um, or maybe some of these wheels are Tier 3? I can't really remember. I'm trying to see if it has marked on it anywhere. I feel like they're all Tier 2. Anyways, um, and then if we go to here, you can see we had quite a lot of changes to the the kale bell as well um, I'm gonna be honest it's not great I'm pretty bad at this um, I feel like I get taken down quite easily with this guy and I never seem to get many kills that's not built very well we'll have to rebuild it some other point so we'll stick with the XX for now because I'm trying to get trying to win some games get a lot more money um, I don't. I, I also don't have a lot of time to record this today. I haven't really found a, an official slot for it yet in my uploading schedule or recording schedule. Uh, so this might be a shorter episode. But that's all right. We're gonna play some games. So get this. Okay, I figured it out. So you, you, once you're level tier six, you can queue into the challenge matches on to on the challenge side, which should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to try that. And then when you're tier ten, I think you can queue into the mega bots which I didn't know what it was I just assumed it was like huge bots fighting huge bots it's actually not it's actually huge bots fighting quite a lot of smaller bots and it's one on many I'm not actually sure how many people you face but it's probably like one on six or something like that or one on ten this just sounds crazy because you're just you know wrecking them and they're swarming you and I, I'm excited to try that at some point uh, of course we got to get there first but I have faith we will. Alright, what's going to be the move? So the, so the way I play this guy, the best way to do it, because I have these defensive shields, sort of deflect damage off of them, the way I generally play it is face forward and shoot. Um, and it works pretty well. I do a pretty good job of protecting the wheels with those armor plated blocks, which is key So for your getaway and also for your steering, since it is important. Um, now, if I'm correct, if I stay still, I can't, yeah, and I turn. This is why I want tank treads on this thing, because then I could, could sort of stop moving and become a turret and always face forward, and the, the shielding would be more effective. Oh my god, he's taking off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh man, it was it was good. It was close. If he didn't have backup, we would have got him. Um, oh man, that's a little louder than I wanted it to be. <laughs> Let's turn that down just a smidge. Him. So, yeah, it's okay. We got some money nonetheless. Uh, let's queue into another one. Cubes are not connected to your pilot seat. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, I accidentally placed one way over there. Did not mean to do that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, right. So, yes, yeah, so if you could just turn in place, then you could just put great shields on the front, and you would be pretty protected, um, because you could just turn so that they're always hitting the front. Uh, as it is right now, someone could just, like, drive past me a little bit so that I'm on, at an angle to them, and they could just pummel my side and, and wreck me, which is kind of a problem, so that's why I have to kind of stay out of range, um, and when you're out of range, when it comes to those SMGs, I've actually done pretty well, even in challenge matches, um, uh, I've done pretty well with burst fires, actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Right, so that's cool. I am trying to get work my way into some other weapon tree. Now, you guys have seen, I'm sure, in videos and if you play the game, that even in these lower tier, ba tier, tier battles, you will see people with uh, snipers and 
sometimes they dominate. Um, and that sniper is actually really high tier, not really high, I, I don't know exactly what tier, but it's a higher tier weapon than the SMGs. You do need to be well above tier 2, but the thing is is that once they unlock it at that tier, uh, they remove all of their weapons um, and just get that. And and that is how they get back into these lower tiers with such OP weapons. And I'm wondering if that's intentional or not. I'm telling you, these burst fires, it's the way to go. I'm standing here with the shields, no one's touching me, I've got a lot of backup. Alright, I didn't take that much damage. No wheels are gone yet, so my movement should still be... Ow! Yep. This can Oh, he's got a sniper. He didn't hit me though. That other guy put the heat on him. All right, well we wrecked them. Nice. Oh, oh, this guy's got 96 health. Oh. Well, we put up the good fight. Not bad getting all those kills all in all, to be honest. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we are well within our range to buy a little bit more. I would like to buy two more, but let's just buy one for now. Uh, and it's this guy that needs being upgraded to tier 3, and ooh, technically still tier 2. I'm wondering if I swap this out for tier 3, if that's going to do it. How much do these sell for? Okay, let's, let's sell two of these, just to see. Uh, can we buy one now? Yeah. Alright, let's see if this puts us solidly into tier 3, because that would be kind of a bummer, all things considered. Um, oh yeah. It's a tier 3 tank right there. Uh, I'm wondering if that's even worth it. Well, here, let's remove something else and see if we can bring it back down to tier 2. Oh man, that almost added nothing. Well, let's keep it off, though. Um, what about the back row of blocks. Do these do anything? They don't appear. Blocks don't appear to, appear to affect it. Let's leave those on. I'm just not sure. I mean, I just feel like going into tier 3, we're going to be so bad. Uh, and there's still so much for us to do here in tier 2. I mean, we do have quite a few points to spend, um, which, I mean, I guess it's the kind of thing where you might as well spend them at this point. Uh, that looks like it's actually everything for tier 2, so we might as well move up to tier 3. We've unlocked all the tier 2 things. <sighs> um, so we might as well start earning tier 3 points, right? The thing is, is we're going to get our butt whooped. Uh... And this other guy... Uh, Alright, you know what, what the heck, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna need... to buy, like... Oh, I can't buy any of those. Okay. We could sell sell stuff to get some of those, which we probably should do, but... And let's go! First time I'm going in a tier 3 game. Oh boy. Um... Yeah, I'm wondering what the challenge battles are gonna be like. What are tier 3? Are we gonna fight for tier 7s now instead of tier 6s? I feel like that's probably how it's gonna work. That'll be interesting. 
Uh, I did come across in one of those fights a healing robot, and I definitely think that that should be the future of the cowbell. I think that we should maybe wait till we get some snipers, and then play some hovering sniper things. Um, and, you know, some of those dinky little kind of overpowered sniper... Ooh, tank treads. That's cool. Um, and then after we level it up, or we unlock... Um, healers, we could be a, a, a healing drone. Um, which, honestly, when you're playing in the the challenge mode as a tier 6, seemed a little overpowered, because we there's times where we would almost kill, um, where we would successfully swarm a flying guy, a tier 6, and he'd escape, and then just be healed up. Yeah, when they get close like that, that's when I start to say, okay, let's ignore the burst fire thing. Ow! Just quit running me over. Hey, oh, get him, oh, get him! <laughs> Alright, man, we rolling in unstoppable here. Although the game is pretty even. Although it looks like we got a good pe number of people playing on defense. Where? Where? I don't know. Oh, back there. Well, I'll start to capture the base. We'll see what see who's out here defending it. Nobody. I see anyone on the map. Oh. What are we shooting at? I don't know what he's shooting at. Oh, there's something. Yeah. No, don't leave. Just do this. Okay, that's fine. I feel like somewhere out there, there's just a bunch of really damaged things that are just running around on two wheels, spinning in circles, unable to control each other, unable to control themselves. Uh, do we have someone over there? And that's why there's so many enemies still alive, but they're not actually coming for us here. Because they know they're doomed unless they can hit us, presumably. Alright, well, I was wrong about getting owned in Tier 3. First one of the day happens in Tier 3. What do you know? I uh, hope that l loads us. Oh, that did. It did. Oh, beautiful. And we do have 24 tier 3 things. Oh, man. Uh, these plasma monsters seem pretty boss. Um, I think the rail cannons are the real ones you want. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to decide whether or not to go for the SMGs. Let's get the plasma launcher. Um, actually, yeah, let's let's give this a shot. Let's experiment. Right, we got the plasma launch. We got a lot of money. Let's load up the cowbell. Okay, let's take off these things. These possibly ineffective guns. <clears throat> let's go to the shop. Let's get hardware. Let's get the plasma. And let's buy... Can we buy two? You can only buy one. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll buy one. And we will put it... I uh, can't fit it front and center. If we move that, yeah, there we can fit it front and center there. Um, thing about that though is that it it shoots up more than it shoots down, and this thing is going to be in the air. So I almost feel like you can't put these sideways, huh? Can you put them upside down? You can put it upside down. So I almost feel like this would be a better bet, putting it right there. They can shoot kind of up if they're far away. Um, not a bad deal. And then, and then let's just put let's put these back. Actually, let's put them back so long as we can maintain in tier two. Um, here we'll put uh, put 
put some down here at the edges. Although that just makes it an easy target. Just hit that one block and they'll break both. So maybe not that. Uh, let's go under here, I guess. Let's see if we can put some of these. There we go. Um, trying to decide where else to put these. Maybe it couldn't hurt to have some here. I wish I could put them on the diagonal. That'd be sweet. So if I put it here, oh, I have an idea. What about back to back? There. So they can pretty much shoot forward. Yeah, that's good. I like that. How many more we got? None. Perfect. Um, oh, and this is no longer good? Where is it? Is it a CPU thing? You know, you may only have one type of gun on your robot? Oh. Uh, okay, well then, I guess for the sake of science, I kind of liked that new configuration of SMGs we had, but that's okay. <clears throat> I guess we will just sell all these and buy one more plasma launcher? Oh, geez, is this too... Too few? It might be. So maybe one there, one here. To hit as many people as possible. And I feel like from a distance, that's still gonna hit most people. Let's give it a shot in training real quick. First of all, in terms of weight, whoa. Oh, okay, there's no bullet drop. When I see this kind of reticle, I... Oh, man, I generally assume bullet drop. Oh, man. It's not... I mean, it's pretty awesome. I'm surprised... I'm, I'm just really surprised this isn't dead yet. What in the world? Right, like this, only the bottom one will be able to hit now. Yeah, the other one shot over there. So, okay, so stay at range. Are you kidding me? What? I mean, I can't be doing that wrong. I, I'm hitting it for sure, right? Like that, th uh, whatever. Whatever. Maybe this is like a weird weapon where, oh, there it goes. That was just a bug. All right. I was going to say maybe this is just a weird weapon where you can't finish him off. That'd be very strange. kind of hard to hit people with this. You do have to lead them a bit. They're not the fastest projectiles in the world. Oh. This looks like it's another head-on weapon. And this guy with his shields is... Uh, oh, I was really hoping I could get him in midair. Yeah, this guy's super persistent because he's got those shields. That's a... Uh, Let's just go ahead and try it in an actual game. See, the thing is, is that we're kind of stuck with it. We'd have to win some other, some more games with the uh, other tank to to kind of make up for the credits we would lose for for having to sell these. You know, if we sold them, we wouldn't get all the credits back. Oh, challenge mode. That's not going to be a good test of how good this is. I really want to be on the other team for one of these. It seems like a lot of fun. I love how they give the hint of sticking together. No one reads it. No one cares. Everyone just goes. A couple of games. The games where we've had the most success, we've definitely stuck together. It's definitely a good tip. I have yet to win one, though. I've come close. I've come to killing, being on a team where we killed three of four. But never won one. And I don't know if close really counts, if, if it was only one time. Is that it? Okay, there is bullet drop. It's just not...
quite as drastic as I was anticipating. Alright, hey. Oh, uh, I don't see anybody. See, this is the kind of thing where any second I'm just going to get sniped and die in one hit. Okay, so they're like all over there. I will mark him. Okay, well, I feel like artillery or some sort. Oh, there it goes. Yep, they got their snipers and their everything else. Alright, let's do one more. One more, hopefully normal fight with these guns. If I can sustain a, at least a little bit of fire to get like a solid point blank shot off, that's that's my real test. Because if that just tears through them, then this is pretty good. If not, then I'll probably go uh, railgun route. Or maybe see which is cheaper. I do like the, I have to learn the symbols next to everyone named to figure out what kind of tank they are. Like, we have two people on our team with this particular kind of weapon that I have. That's the symbol next to my name. On the other team, they have two of those, and they have the triangle kind of guy, which I feel like is probably a railgun, which is never good. I kind of wish that the symbols looked had a little bit more meaning to them, as opposed to just X and O and diamond. Maybe, like, how about like a picture of a silhouette of an SMG, silhouette of a larger cannon, and a silhouette of a railgun. I don't know. Maybe that would be too hard to make out in such a small interface. But I, I kind of, I just, I, just kinda, I guess what I'm trying to say is I wish it's the kind of thing that I wouldn't have to go learn <laughs> and then remember. I hate that. It's one of the reasons why I can never get behind MOBAs. No. I've been marked. Okay. Really? Only eight damage. Oh, stay upright, stay upright. Fantastic. Spin around. That was good. We got away. Um. Oh, he's coming for us. Really hoping he would land upside down. Oh wait, I don't have any weapons? Oh shoot. Yeah, they're right in the front. Alright, stay low. Skirmish around here. Let's just try to survive at this point, I guess. It's the problem with only having two guns. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to contribute. I have all four fl steering, and I, c I can fly great. Which is awesome. So I really think this would be better if we just got a few more of them. And I think, the way this guy is built, that we could conceivably get a few more of them. And still be... Alright, let's go stand on there. Oh, man. Let's catch it up. Oh. Oh. Let's go stand on their box. Hope capture it. Hope those guys still have guns up there. That poor guy's gonna have a hard time getting there. Oh no, oh no. Take him out. I can't help you. I'll see if I can sit up here and mark them as they come in. Or does that not count as me being on the thing? No, it probably does. Hey. Nice! I survived! Which will probably give us enough money to buy at least one more. Every time you survive, you get a good chunk of money. Oh yeah. We will totally have a lot of money. Uh, hardware. Oops. Another. 
Um, I think I'm going to just look down here for a second. Yeah, let's go here. Put that. No. That there. That there. That there. Yeah, let's pick that one up so we can make it symmetrical. That'll probably help. <sighs> and we're not that far off from buying another. Alright, well that's going to be it for me, everybody. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, leave a like if you want to keep seeing the series. And if you want to, uh, you know, watch me get all the way up to Megabots and that kind of a thing. And, uh... I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.